Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us, as always, is Seraphis Thrawn, our level 17 Marauder. Here in, where are we? Let's have a look at the map. We are in Camp Drybone, of course, way up in the northeast of Eastern Thanalan. There's Uldar, all the way to our southwest down there. We're over here. And of course, if you joined us in the last episode, you'll know that we were here finishing off some leave quests. Now, this time, I think what we're going to do is some more leave leaving if you like some more leave quests but I've had a whole bunch of requests from you guys to check out the crafting again so I think that's what we're going to do this episode but before we go any further let's have a look down here I can see I've got myself a little icon that's glowing down in the bottom right here and you can see if I hover over it there it actually says you have unused attribute points open the point allotment interface and you can see that's great now because of course it actually alerts us when there are points to spend. Now in the past I'd gone a very very long time without realizing that I had points to spend and putting myself at a massive disadvantage now it glows here on this little control panel so it's much easier to figure it out nowadays and by the way did you notice folks it's raining that's right it's raining here in Athanalan which is most unusual of course it's a very dry arid area but I love it when it rains in this game it just looks so awesome so I hope it comes through on the YouTube video and of course it's it's pitch black it's the middle of the night here so it's a cold rainy evening and that's why we're standing next to the open fire but let's have a look in here we go straight to our point allotment screen again by clicking on that little button and you can see down the bottom here that I've got one point remaining because I must have leveled up very recently what do I want to put it in well I'm probably gonna pop it into let me see probably either strength or vitality and you can see here if I hover over it the number of points allocated to this attribute thus far including any added during the current session so you can see that that is plus six plus four etc etc so let's add one of these in probably gonna go with vitality or dexterity actually one of those two need to buff them up a little bit in fact I might yeah I think I might do dexterity you can see by the way if you never quite remember what these are all for you can see there if you hover over it it eventually pops up and says your current dexterity rating this attribute primarily affects accuracy uh, for ease of fishing and the activation of disciple of the hand abilities and if we hover over vitality and give it a second there we go this attribute primarily affects defense maximum HP ease of mining and also the activation of Disciple of the Hand abilities. You know what, I'm gonna pop my point in there. We'll apply that, and it is that simple, folks. You can see that this little symbol down the bottom now has actually gone away. So it's great, just like the NPC link pearl down the bottom here, if we hover over that one, you can see there that that is blank. So we, we know that currently there are no updates to the story quest, and of course, once there are, that will actually glow, uh, start glowing, and it's a lot better than having to constantly check your log like you did in the old days and never really know what was going on. All right, now, by the way, as I said, it's raining. Look up the top here. You can see that this icon has changed, and it actually shows the current weather which is really cool. I've never noticed this before. Now, I'm not sure if that's a new feature and I've just completely ignored it up until this point or whether that's something that's been recently added into the game. But you can see there all the different types of weather states that we have. For example, clear, fine, cloudy, foggy, rainy, which it is now, blustery, stormy, sandy, and good old gloomy there. So you can see there's a number of different states for weather. And of course, up here, we also have the current moon phase right now it's a new moon and that's interesting because here in Australia as I film this it is also a uh, new moon so I wonder if that's synced up somehow I doubt it but uh, and I don't, I don't know if that's real time or not I doubt that very much but you can see you've got the waxing and waning cycles there as well as the full and new moon so it's very very cool at least now when you hover over these it actually describes what they are which is nice all right so without further ado let's hit the old Q button here to bring up my main menu and I'm going to go into my journal and again I'm not so interested in the quests or the regional leave quests here what I am interested in today are the local leave quests and you can see we've got a couple here if we click on one of these you can see that uh, what is it this one is a weaver and we're gonna to have to create and deliver the following items dated hempen shouses 
and that is at Camp Blake Brush. So that's not where we are right now. Of course, we can just click on the map icon there, and you can see it takes us over to there, just north of Alda, and we are to the east of there at the moment over in Drybone. So what I do is I just teleport over there, very simple. Let's have a look at these other ones. What do we got here? We had a weaver, we've got a culinarian quest here, and we've got to create and deliver flatbread times six. So that's pretty cool. And irrational behavior, what's that one? That is also by the looks of things, culinarian. Yes, create and deliver the following items, salt cod times 12. So what I think we're gonna do folks is, like I say, for a change, we've done combat, we've done story quest. A lot of you guys are wanting to see crafting again who haven't seen it since the very early episodes. Let's do that. First things first though, of course, we have to teleport out of here. I mean, we could ride there, but let's just get on with things. So we need to choose the region of Thanalan, of course, and then choose, here we are, Camp Black Brush. That is where we wish to go. Should come up with a prompt. Do you wish to teleport? Why, yes, we sure do. And here we are arriving at our new destination. All right, it's been a while since we've been here. So it's nice to be back now. Of course, if you, oh, there we go. There's somebody crafting already. If you haven't been with us for very long in this series, then you may not know how crafting works. Basically, you can craft anywhere you like. And by the way, if you look in your journal at these local leave quests, they're called local rather than regional because you can actually do these wherever you like. You might see a lot of people like that crafting in the major cities. You can craft in a shop. You can craft absolutely pretty much anywhere you you like and of course we're going to do the crafting here in the camp because that's exactly where we want to go and hand in our camp black brush so first things first you want to look at your leave quest here and you want to see what the recommended class is now of course it's a weaver so we have to be a weaver let's do that let's get out of there it's been a while since we've uh, actually changed our class in this game all we need to do is head into our gear screen you know how it works folks, it's very simple in Final Fantasy XIV. All we need to do is change our main hand weapon to the class's weapon that we are wanting to go to. So of course if I click on here, here's the filtered list of all of the items in my inventory now that are available to my main hand and of course all we need to do is go down and find the Weaver's primary tool. There it is, Rusty Needle, that's us, we just click on that and you'll see a message here. There we go, you change your class to a weaver. It is that simple, we are now a weaver. And of course our hotbar changes up as well. And that's it, we are now a weaver. And if we wanted to change back, of course, all I'd have to do is click on my main weapon slot and for example, choose Iron War Axe, which would slip us back into the role of a marauder. Nice and easy. All right, so now of course we're a weaver. All we need to do is synthesize. So you can see we've got the synthesize option in our menu now. Now again, we can actually go in anywhere we like so let's just pull up somewhere with a bit of a view let's have a look here ah oh, that'll do that'll do all right and we'll check our journal once more and let's have a look here cheap chouses and you can see that we have to actually craft dated hempen chouses times two that simple all right so all we need to do is click on synthesize and that should make us kneel down. It brings up our table. If we go to our uh, requested items here, there we go, that actually brings up the leaves themselves. So it's nice and simple. You don't have to remember what it is that you need in terms of recipes. And the other great thing about doing leaf quests, of course, is that all the materials, the crafting materials that you need are actually supplied for you. So that's really cool. And of course, we're gonna get the benefit of being able to level up in terms of our weaver. You can see down the bottom here, we are weaver level four. Doing these leaves, yeah, we're not gonna actually get the benefit of keeping the goods that we craft, but we do get that crafting XP and that's what's most important to us. Now before we click on this of course I've just remembered that we do need to go over and grab the materials by the way so let's actually cancel this. Oh, been a long time hasn't it? I've forgotten how it all goes. So the client is over here we need to go and speak to them because they actually have the materials which makes sense seeing as it's here that we need to hand the quest in and there it is there. Mamodi's cheap chouses. Speak to them 
there we go and she's gonna have a word to us and that fades because basically they give us the materials there we go uh, I shall inspect the items upon their completion do not take them far and there we go we have received the required materials and we get our little card our playing card coming up there to indicate of course that we've accepted the leave quest it's that simple all right so now second time lucky let's do the synthesize there we are and we'll choose requested items rather than recipes and we'll pick there we go Mamodi's cheap chouses and we can say yes thank you very much we'd like to begin and you can see there that that has automatically put all of the crafting material that we need right on our crafting table as I like to call it and you can see we've got undyed hemp and cloth a couple of those we've got mole brown hemp and cloth and we've got lead gray hemp and cloth and we've got hemp and yarn there and that's it all we need to do is now click on main hand and that should bring it up there we go the information window has come up it shows us what the finished product is going to be dated hemp and chouses and it tells you what uh, classes that it favors there it's got some plus nine defense and you can see craftsmanship there plus two evasion plus one and it says says here the crafting class that was made that it was made by was a weaver so it's all that information it also requires you can see here three earthen shards and two wind shards now there you go that is exactly what you need your shards for a lot of people say hey what are, what's with all these shards that we collect when we actually fight mobs out in the wild i mean we do get shards as rewards it's very cool this is why you keep them don't sell them and you can see here nice little indicator that says there that's the picture of our backpack so you can tell we've actually got 230 of these earth shards in our inventory and we've got 155 wind shards we only need three and two and look at that by the way while we've been talking there the sun has come out it's yep the clouds are breaking and the blue sky is about to shine through don't you just love the weather in this game look at that since the beginning of the episode when it was raining and nighttime it is now a beautiful sunny slightly cloudy day and you can see all that off in the background there we've got our long shadows on the ground honestly it's beautiful folks anyhow let's select that and we should be off a rocking and rolling there we go you can see someone else is crafting in the background as well um, now again we've got standard rapid careful and wait I'm just going to do a standard for now synthesize normally with a focus on success you can see it actually says that and our progress bar is going along 17 percent we're going to do the same thing you can see again folks you have to keep an eye on your durability which is at the moment 100 and our quality which is 20 durability went down there dropped by 15 you can see durability decreases by 15 rapid uh, synthesize rapidly with a focus on progress failures incur higher losses now that means our pro look at that our progress bar went all the way along to 51 percent we're going to do standard this time because if you do anything other than standard of course you do run the risk of losing durability or quality Right, I'm going to do another rapid one here. Synthesize rapidly with a focus on progress. Failures incur higher losses. There we go. Bit of progress there. Careful synthesis. We'll try that. Synthesize carefully with a focus on quality. Durability degrades more quickly. I'm going to do a standard one now because, of course, what we're also trying to do here, folks, is keep the quality up as well because we will be judged on our quality by this person over here, by Ludovrant. There we go. We're 92% let's just see if we can do a standard one here we're trying to get to 100 percent right now i'm not too concerned with the quality there we go let's finish it up not too concerned with the quality mamodi's cheap chouses there we go synthesis successful we got one out of two yay we got ourselves 275 xp points and because of that you can see we actually leveled to a level five in weaving which is fantastic Woohoo! lots of fun so yeah when we do hand these chouses in uh you know they are made to a certain quality and that's dictated by us and our crafting ability down here plus of course random pot luck uh, there's always a random nature in crafting but when we hand them back to our person over there that i'm highlighting they will judge them the higher the quality the bigger the reward that we get so yeah bear that in mind all right so we've got what have we done one of two and we've got three attempts remaining in this leave quest so let's give it another go yes indeed we need to do this now like i've said in the past too even if we're successful this time and we manage to synthesize our second bunch and not not ruin them um we will still have more attempts left now 
the thing is, if you're playing on your own, I highly recommend that you carry on making those because you're going to get basically free XP. I mean, the materials are being provided for you by these guys, so they're free. So you're able to just use those materials and use those attempts in order to actually, you know, level up basically on the house. That's what the lead quests are for. So what I'm trying to say is do not stop uh, once you've actually satisfied the leave quest requirements. You're kind of wasting wasting your money, wasting your time. You might as well use the gifts that have been given to you and level up your crafting as much as you can. Now you can see we're down to 47 durability there, so we're under 50% and we don't want to go back down too much. There we go, 100%, we made it. Let's finish that off. We are going to get our, there we go, all items for the Mamodi's Cheap Chouse is complete. But you can see here we've got attempts remaining too. Now, just to prove my point, we're going to do it. We're going to do some more. Now, not only will that give us more XP, but it will also give us a chance to actually make ones with a higher quality and a higher durability. So, you know, I don't see the reason why you shouldn't. Now, what we're going to do is we've used Rapid there to try and get our progress along. Didn't work. So let's wait on that one. And we'll just wait for... Again, I'm looking at the colours, by the way. The colours on our on our crafting here. I don't know if it's a bit hard to see. You might be able to just see the faint yellow glow there. There we go. Now it's sort of glowing red, so I want to wait on that one. There we go. And you can see it's cleared it now a little bit. Let's do standard synthesis. Of course, if these are uh, glowing bright red, that means bad things, basically. Green is good, and white is good. That's doing all sorts of crazy glowing again. Let's actually wait. There we go. We'll do a rapid one, because we need to get our progress above 50% see what happens oh that was a big failure let's do a standard one our durability is down to 45 of course it doesn't matter really because these ones are in addition there we go a nice big progress leap there our quality is 24 our durability is down to 38 oh dear i don't think this is going to go very well at all let's do a careful one that is going to degrade our durability more but it will pop our quality up and look at that durability is eight i don't think we're actually going to be able to craft this one because we're only at 70 percent progress Oh, that was alright. Let's do another standard one. Fingers crossed. Can we do it? Seriously, it's crafting, but you break out in a sweat. Oh, and look at that. We did it with four durability left on the clock. 41 quality. I think that's actually better quality than the one we did before. Alright, I'm definitely doing this last attempt here. Why not? Why the heck not? It's actually exciting stuff. If you are doing this yourself, it is way more exciting than it looks. You actually sort of break out in a bit of a sweat because it's kind of nerve-wracking. It's like a kind of like a mini game I guess in a way so again keeping an eye I'll get a good background there on it there we are sort of flashing all different colors so let's do a bit of a wait there we're at 44 percent already we'll do a standard synthesis now and watch our progress in our quality all right quality went up and progress went up and you can see it's still 84 durability so I'm going to do a careful synthesis here which as you can see focuses on quality I really want to pump my quality okay nothing happened we've got the durability to play around with this so I'm going to do it again quality is not increasing let's try it one more time boy if we failed that three times in a row that's that's really bad luck isn't it oh dear let's do a wait I'm going to do another careful one trying to get that quality up there you go it went up to 34 let's see if we can keep that and look at that that was a good one durability 31 quality 34 we are done and you can see there it's finished now we also have I think another quest that we can do in our journal but we'll cancel that because I think we have to go over here and pick up the pick up the ingredients for it Let's have a look in our journal first. Actually, no. My bad. Let's hand in first. There we go. Mamodi's cheap chouses. This will suffice. And let's have a look. Here is your reward. Woohoo!
Okay, so if we scroll up a bit, your reward is based on a performance rating of 34. Now that's not too bad. We obtained 12 clumps of moco grass. We got 33 wind shards for that, always handy. We got 116 gill, and we also obtain the recipe itself for pairs of hempen drawers. And look at that, we get some materials listed there. And 100 XP, of course. So you can see we're already over halfway through level five, which is fantastic. Now we've got time, I think we have. Let's have another chat to this person here, Luda Vraint, and let's do Mamodi's breakfast bread. Now before we do that though, I think I'm gonna have to change class. Let's go to our, uh, not to our inventory, Gosh, I'm half asleep today, aren't I? Let's go to our journal. There we go. Mamodi's breakfast bread. I'm pretty sure if we have a look at that. There we go. Culinarian. That's what we need to do. Let's change our class. And again, so easy. Click on the gear screen. Click on our main window. And we're looking for the weathered skillet. There it is. Culinarian's primary tool. Click on that. And we should change our class. And if we spin around, you can see we've got our little pot and pan on our side there. All good. Let's have a chat to this person and Mamodi's breakfast bread. Now that we are a culinarian, there we go, so it's gonna go back blank and come back and hopefully we'll get our ingredients. There we are, you have received the required materials and there it is, the leave quest card has popped up so we know we are ready to rock and roll. All right, let's get down to business folks. You know how it works. Bring up the interaction menu, I hit Q, that's what I've mapped it to on my keyboard. Hit synthesize and we should bow down there we go now all we need to do is again if we wanted to make if we're synthesizing for ourselves all we do is click on recipes here and you can see that we've got recent recipes and awarded recipes and these are all the ones that we've actually been awarded from you know winning our leaves or from completing our leaves in the past so for example there are the hempen drawers that we need so we can actually now craft now back in the old days this used to be absolutely horrible um, like you know you wouldn't actually have a very nice recipe book you used to have to try and remember what to make out of what materials and it was terrible nowadays it's a whole bunch easier but of course we're not looking for recipes at the moment we're actually trying to do the requested items here for a leave quest that's how you bring up your leave quest the Modi's bread there it is create and deliver the following items flat bread times six culinarian that's what we are let's begin that and the crafting screen should pretty much come up as soon as we click on main head. Now again, you guys know how much I love this. Look at the detail that's gone into this. To make the bread, we've got rye flour, we've got table salt, and all the information about it under there as well. Insane amounts of detail. We've got natron, which is a white powder used in alchemy as a deodorizer and a leavening agent, which is of course why we need it in our bread. We've also got the fragrant light green olive oil, and we've got clear water taken from a mountain spring spring near Ishgard. Details, details. All right, use the main hand. And here we go, simple unleavened bread made of flour and water. You can see that it requires one fire shard, which makes sense. We're gonna cook over a fire. And if we do this, our finished product will be uh, a times flatbed, uh, flat bread, sorry, times three, it's a grain dish, that's its category. We are ready to rock and roll. Okay, here we are, our stove and our little skillet. And off we go, let's try with a standard synthesis. I'll let you hear the sounds there. Now keep an eye on her actions, by the way. That was standard. I'll do a rapid, and you'll see that her animation yeah, is a lot more vigorous there. She's adjusting the stove. There you go. That was a rapid one. A careful one it should have a different... Yep, there you go. Look, she's giving it a bit of a taste. Different animation again. So it's very cool. We're down to durability 68, and our progress is a 41%, so we did quite well with that particular one got a yellow crafting tool there so we're gonna to have to be a little bit careful oh nice lot of progress there quality is 27 doing well let's do another progress one I like my quality up there at 35 doing very well and look at that 100% that was a good one we remained over 50% durability durability sorry and look at that we've got three out of six and the same uh, before we've got three attempts remaining let's do these there we go going to start off with a standard one that seems to be fairly safe all right so we've gone down to 95 
20% basically durability. Quality is 11, progress is 19. What's that going to leap up to? 28. Let's do a big quality one here with a careful synthesis. All right, that didn't work. We're going to go back to our standard synthesis. All right, let's try that again. Progress is 48%. Durability is now 54%. Let's do one which uh, focuses on progress there, the rapid synthesis. And go, oh yeah, look at that, went from uh, yeah 61 to 89. Let's do a careful one here. See if we can bump this quality again. I think we can afford it with a durability of 54 it's now gone down to 40. Let's go back to a standard one. The quality is still at 22. And quality ended up being 26 there. Now again, what I'm going to do is use these remaining attempts here because I would like to try and get a better quality so we can get better rewards when we hand in. Now presumably, even though we've got lots of these in our bags, uh, they will judge us on our best work, I hope. Here we go, we're going to go straight to the careful one here. And you can see that's, what's that taking us to? 20% progress, durability is 87%, quality is 13. Whoops, a bit of lag there, and we actually unfortunately missed out on clicking. That's what happens if you let the timer run out. Never mind. Quality is 15, durability is 73. Now I'm going to focus more on this quality. If it's continuously flashing red there, and that was a bad run, I'm going to hit wait. And wait again. Just going to do a good old standard now. Oops, that failed. Our durability is down to 46. Let's actually try one of our rapid ones here. And of course, that means our progress will hop along. I hope. No, gosh, this one is being very nasty. You can see, always in your chat log here, you use rapid synthesis, the attempt fails. So just keep an eye on that log there so you know what's going on if you... There we go, that succeeded if you can't tell by the visual aids or indeed if you're colorblind or something like that. Uh, you can always just check in your log there. Right here, durability 16, taking a big risk here. There we go, we finished on a quality of 44. After all of that, that was actually pretty good. Let's do the last one here. Why not? Why the heck not? You can see we're already culinarian, almost level six and a half. So it's been well worth doing all of this because you level very quickly when you're crafting. It's great. Let's knock that along in terms of the progress with a rapid synthesis there. And then we'll try a careful one here. Try to up our quality. Nice one. Quality's gone up to 33. 42. Let's do a careful one here. We're at 50% progress and we've got 42 quality. That is fantastic. Oh, 51% quality. Still 72 durability and 60% progress. 62 quality. Oh, this is going really, really well. Let's see what happens. Quality 62, quality 71. Well, I'm, I'm not going to push my luck. I'm going to do a standard synthesis there. Whoops, that failed. Let's wait. And let's try another quality one. 88% quality. That is amazing. It's gone to 96% and 85% quality. Let's do a standard synthesis to knock this one off. 85 quality, folks. Look at that. Wow. Well done there, Seraphis. That was fantastic. I don't think we've ever done that before. You know what? I think that actually deserves a bit of a... Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that! Open Synthesis Interface. I did not know that! Look at that, we've actually got a shortcut key down the bottom there. That is new. In other words, you don't have to go into here and click Synthesis anymore. That's fantastic. Wow! Alright, you learn something every day. Uh, let's give ourselves a surprise look. That's right. Surprise the heck out of me with that quality. Let's see what Ludovrant has to say. See if he appreciates our hard work. Mamodi's Breakfast Bread. All right, your reward is based on a performance of, didn't quite catch that, what is it, 47. We obtained 12 Coerthus Carrots, 36 Fire Shards, woo, um, 125 Gil, and we obtained the recipe for Pinches of Sea Sand. 
Right, and 100 XP, you can see we're well over, what is that, about two thirds of the way through Culinarian level six. So let's see, re recipe for pinches of sea sand. Let's just click on that handy little icon. And what we'll do is we'll click on recipes and see if it's in there. Awarded recipes. Sea sand, sea sand, I guess it's one of those. I'm not sure why they are different. But anyway, there you go. All right, now let's have a look in our journal and see if we've got anything else. I don't think so, but we'll just double check. Go to our journal. There we go. Irrational behavior. What is here? We have to... What is it? Kuerthus carrot. We have to do salt cod times 12. Now, where is that? That's over in Camp... Oh, that's where we are. Hmm... La -di -da -di -da. What does it say here? Official request. Those who accept the task. Um, to replace items lost, Camp Quartermaster Mamiya has put out an official request to skilled culinarians, culinarians sorry, in Ulda. Right, I'm not sure because I don't think... Yeah, see that is irrational behaviour. Right, salt cod times 12. I don't think we can speak to the person over here anymore. Let's have a chat. Camp Black Brush, that's where we are. I'm not dreaming again, am I, folks? Let's have a look. Journals, Black Brush, is that where we need to be? Yep. Pretty sure we haven't got the ingredients for that. Unless it's somebody else that we have to speak to. Maybe it's this person here. Hang on. Ah, there we go, folks. Duh. Silly Sambo. Alright, so maybe we've already got the ingredients that are required for that. I'm not sure. She doesn't want to talk to us. Until we've got it ready. So let's try requested items. Irrational behavior. Look at that. We had them all along. What an idiot! Mind you, like I say, it has been literally months since I've actually crafted. So please forgive me, folks. All right, Tiger Cod. And what do we got? Table salt. Use the main hand. Let's cook up a couple of these for the quest. There we go. We need ice shards. And of course, we've got 73 of those. Cooking, cooking. You know what? All this cooking is making me absolutely starving funny that isn't it every time I cook in a game I get hungry and I think I've mentioned it before as well especially Lord of the Rings online let me know in the comments below if you guys have played that especially if you've played around the Hobbit areas and you've done all of their questing for delivering pies every single one of their conversations is about damn pies you do your cooking and crafting it's about pies I play that game, my tummy just starts rumbling and I have an insatiable craving for pies. In fact, you know what? Talking about it has made me feel like going in and doing some crafting in that game. It really is a great game. I do love it. Um, almost as much as I love Final Fantasy XIV. In fact, I think they're kind of equal. I have as much fun in either. I view them very, very similarly, to be honest, because the type of play... There we go, finishing off. Six out of twelve. We'll do the other six in just a second. Yes, please. The sort of gameplay that I uh, preoccupy myself with in Final Fantasy XIV is actually very similar to the style of play that I do in Lord of the Rings Online. And by that I mean, you know, I just take my sweet time. I take my time, enjoy the world, almost kind of role-playing on my own, you know, imagining I'm an adventurer in the great big lands uh, of, and, you know, in this case, of course, it's not uh, yours yet, it's in Lord of the Rings Online, but wandering around there, and, you know, that is a great game where you can adventure and just, you know, go where the wind blows kind of thing, do your crafting, do your gathering, do all that sort of thing, and kind of, you know, have that sort of lived-in feel about it exactly like it is here in Final Fantasy 14 so carving out your own path or following quests if you wish so you know what I think it's time I went back and had a good look at that game I like it very much and by the way comparing it to Final Fantasy 14 is a compliment for both games I do believe both of them are absolutely fantastic all right while we're here we might as well do this let's finish off I know we're running a little bit over time 
but we're really getting the knack of this and you can see here our culinarian level is up to about three quarters of the way through level six so let's just finish off these last two seeing as again they are free their leave quests the materials are being supply, uh, supplied for us and we can basically quest to our heart's content and cook to our heart's content and use up those ingredients why not it's free xp free cooking xp might as well not let it go to waste. What are we up to? 70% progress, 88% progress. Let's see if we can kick up the quality here with the careful synthesis. Got enough durability there, which is 68. Look at that, 38, and just one more standard synthesis. I think will take us, take us to the finish line. There we go, all done. Let's just do one more. Getting ready, there we are, and you can see by the way, look at that, it started raining again, hovering up over there, the icon there which shows you that in fact it is raining, I do love that, and you can see, look at the lighting, the lighting has changed, it's not night time, but the clouds have rolled over, and that means that it's got a lot darker, it's just, you know, it's amazing, it is still, still daytime, but you can tell the entire lighting has changed, the whole mood of the game. And that's what I love about this. And, let's face it, also a game like Lord of the Rings Online. Gosh, it's really got that on my brain now. Um, same sort of you know, mood and feel. When you're out in the world, you do feel like it's this great big out open world for adventuring in and you know making up your own story. It's just, it's just fantastic. That's why I love this game and Lord of the Rings Online. But there we go. Uh, you can see that the shadows have changed. You know, everything's kind of muted now. It is just fantastic, isn't it? Those graphics are stunning. Right, doing some rapid synthesis there to try and get our progress up. And let's do that again. We're right on the line here. Look at this. Durability is 14. Got a funny feeling. Oh, we lucked out there. That was, that was stupidly lucky. Trust me. Wow. All right, so I'm guessing that we have to hand in to... Yes, to you, I think. Now, don't forget, folks, if you're trying to navigate around and you know, want to slow down, hit X, and X will allow you to walk. Don't forget that. And there we go. All right, so, Mimina, Mimina, is that your name? Pretty sure it is. Irrational behavior. There we go. Let's see what we get. Oh, look at that. Level up. Culinarian, level seven. Congrats to us. Fantastic work. Considering we started off, um, you know, way lower than this. Here we go. We uh, reward is based on a performance rating of 38. We got 12 Coerthus carrots. We got ourselves 34 water shards, 116 gill, and we got ourselves a recipe for cups of cottage cheese. Oh my god, I am super starving now. Seriously, cut it out with the with the food talk. Fuck <laughs> out. All right, folks, we are way, way, way over time. We need to get out of here, and am I stuck? No, I haven't finished. There we go. Finished the conversation. There we go. Let's head on over back to the fireplace, perhaps. Sitting in the rain, in the fireplace. Why not? Let's sit. If I can try and line myself up. There we go. Sit. And we are done. There we go. Another day in Eorzea. This time it was very fruitful for us. We've got ourselves a whole lot of crafting XP. Got ourselves a whole lot of ingredients. And of course, managed to revisit the crafting and have ourselves a fantastic time. So there you go, folks. You asked for it. You got it. That is crafting. And of course, I'm only at a very, very basic level. As we get through the game, of course, things will get a lot more complex and a lot more interesting. But until then... That's it for us, folks. I certainly hope you'll join us in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. Most importantly, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you are. On behalf of myself and the seated Seraphis Rowan here in Eorzea, northern Thanalan, with Aldar in the background there, it's us saying take care. We'll see you next time, and bye-bye. <laughs>